If you're playing an extreme with an offensive line, you should stop immediately. This video is a statistical analysis that will prove to you why. I'll be playing with offensive linemen that have all 10s and 9s in their blocking and strength, and then I will be replaying the same exact game without those offensive line using a 5-star offensive coordinator. So what I did is in this game, I literally just let them sack me over and over and over again. And then I took a stopwatch and went back in and timed from the amount of time that they snapped the ball to the amount of time it took to be sacked. So again, did the same exact thing without the offensive line in play so that I could compare the results. This is the exact same team. I used a restart so that I could keep the variable of the defense the same. So once I went ahead and timed each and every one of these snaps, the results were pretty astounding. Uh, I was expecting better results from the offensive line. What you can see here is six key figures I was looking at. The longest amount of time that the quarterback was able to hold onto the ball between snack, snap to sack, sorry, the shortest amount of time, the average amount of time, the percentage that those snaps were over four seconds long, percentage of those plays that were over three and a half, and percentage of those plays that were over three. So what you can see is with the offensive line, we had more plays that were extended beyond the four second mark. However, this really isn't that helpful because it's seemingly random as to when that occurs. So you have no idea when you're going to have the opportunity to have more time in the pocket uh, between that snap and being sacked than when you aren't. And when we took out the offensive line, our average actually went up. So we were actually able to have the plays average 3.23 seconds versus with the offensive line, which was only 3.03 seconds. Uh, so... Sure, you get a couple of plays that are extended beyond the four-second mark, and you get one really long play in there, it seemed. Um, but overall, you're not going to be able to know when that's going to occur, and so it's really useless to bother spending all that salary cap in roster positions on an offensive line, especially if you're playing with a low salary cap and only 10 people on your roster. So uh, results stay. Do not bother with an offensive line. They are a worthless position that is going to cost you money and roster slots and give you nothing for it.